Hello, everyone, and um, good Thursday. Um, I hope that you are all having a wonderful morning and enjoying the sunshine. Um, I know that we do have some um, businesses, accredited businesses with us. We have some um, other BBB employees from um, other states with us. Um, throughout the entire webinar, please feel free to use the question in the chat box down in the bottom right um, to ask any questions that you have, um, just to say hello if you see somebody else on here that you know. Um, and then we will actually have Jess moderating those questions throughout the webinar. So just want to keep it very informal. Um, and be very cognizant of everyone's time. Um, I know that if you, um, like us, have trick-or-treat in your neighborhood tonight, um, you are probably running around trying to find candy last minute. Um, or if you just like candy, maybe you're going to get some candy on sale. Um, so we will try to get things started here in a couple of minutes, um, but make sure that you click on the chat and the question box, um, say hello, um, where you're from, what business that you're with, or what um, AB market that you're at, um, and we will um, get back to you on those. Um, but just again, wanna welcome everybody to our 2022 marketing webinar. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll introduce myself um, and our panelists that we're going to have on here today. Um, we have um, we have a great history with both of the um, additional panelists that are here with us today, um, and I'm super excited to be able to see um, you know hear from them as well and learn some things um, that I don't even know. Um, Jim Pontius is going to be our first presenter on here. Um, he is the owner and president of Hutchison Media. Um, Jim has worked with our BBB for a very long time. Um, if you don't know who Jim is, maybe you know who Jeep is, or maybe you know who JP is. If I use three different names when I'm referring to him, you'll know why. Um, but he has over 30 years of experience in media. Um, he has helped hundreds of clients across um, the central Ohio area and even beyond Ohio um, with strategies for their broadcast and um, digital platforms. So Jim today will be talking about um, just what the landscape is going to look like for 2022 in marketing, um, what your businesses can do now to help yourself and put yourself ahead in 2022. Um, and he will be specifically speaking about um, those markets, um, broadcast and digital medium, mediums that he's um, that he works with clients on. Um, RJ Lowry is regional sales manager with Rev Local. Um, Rev Local is also one of our accredited businesses, and RJ also has a long history with um, BBB. Um, he is a Google Digital Sales Certified Regional Sales Manager with over 35 years experience. Um, and he is specialized in working um, with the staff at Rev Local to be able to build those relationships with their clients. Um, and he's going to be talking at the end of the webinar, um, and you're not going to want to miss it because he's going to help you um, with Google My Business, how you step-by-step -step process on how you can update that for your business. Um, and then myself, um, Allie Bonds, I am with your Central Ohio BBB. Um, I'm the Regional Marketing and Promotions Director. I've been with the BBB for 11 years, um, almost 11 years. Um, and I've been working with our accredited businesses to promote their BBB accreditation um, and their services across a very large, broad range of different marketing campaigns and platforms um, that have greatly changed um, across um, the board in the last 11 years. Um, so those are our presenters for the day. Um, I want to get you guys set up for success in 2022. Um, Jim and RJ also have that um, on their mind um, to be able to help your businesses grow um, in the new year. Um, so what I'm going to do now is hand it over to Jeep um, and let him discuss um, the um, just what the platform is going to look like um, in 2022. Um, and obviously, like I said, enter in those questions and chats. Um, and uh, we can facilitate those questions continually through. So Jeep, I will hand it over to you. Great, thank, thank you very much. Um, Ali, I appreciate being here and speaking with everybody. Um, uh, just so you know, I don't drive a Jeep. It really just is simply my initials. So um, my wife always looks at me in a very odd way and says I've married a man named Jeep. Well, I, I don't drive one, it's just my initials. So um, when Alan asked me to look at the landscape of marketing in 2022, that's such a broad question and we could probably all chat for hours uh, about that. 
but in uh, marketing changed a lot just as COVID changed life for everyone. And it, it's no different with marketing. Certainly um, a lot of the techniques and a lot of the things we look for when we help people try to create more customers for their businesses, um, a lot of those things had to be refined, revised, changed. There had to be a lot of experimentation because, because it really did uh, change a lot. And I'm sure anybody that's that's watching this today will say, yeah, my business changed a lot and the way I tried to attract new customers had to change as well. Um, when, when I break that down a little more definitively uh, within, within the 10 minutes that I have, um, I have to say that we look at all mediums. When we help our, our clients out, we look at all mediums. Digital, which RJ will talk to you about, which has grown enormously. Radio, television, print, outdoor with billboards and so forth. Um, all of those mediums are very viable and very helpful. But the biggest product movement or shift has been, as you also all know, is with recruiting. Everyone's having a difficult time trying to find new employees and new ways to reach them. And it becomes competitive in terms of who has the most money to offer them or the best benefits uh, to offer in order to get new employees. So. As we talk about everything, uh, recruiting is always on my mind because it's a it's not a new category, but it's been explosive because everybody needs new employees. So everything I'm going to tell you moving forward will will also apply to that. And if you have any questions, you know, at the back end, I think we're going to have some time for those. But I want to go back to the mediums that I talked about a moment ago, when we talked about. Uh, uh, the broadcast mediums, radio, TV, outdoor, Lamar, um, and and digital as well. What we found, and as simply as I can put it, uh, and as I look into 2022, I know this will continue to be uh, the mountain that we stand on, is uh, the opportunity to use multi mediums at once. And even if you're guerrilla marketing and you don't have budgets to spend or big budgets to spend, the most important thing that you can do now that maybe in the past wasn't as true, um, maybe you could uh, do just radio advertising or print advertising and, and have some success. Now more than ever, because the world has changed, digital advertising certainly changed the world. Um, we find that that the multimedia approach is really what works. So whether you're using TV and outdoor together, digital goes well with any medium, whether you're using uh, any combination of those mediums, one is going to help accelerate the other. And so if you are just using one of those, you can get some juice and new clients and and tell people about your business and brand your business. But it's very, very important that if you can, and if you can find a way to use a multi-medium approach to any degree, that is certainly going to be a bellwether for your success in terms of growing your business in 22 and, and beyond. I don't, quite frankly, uh, as if I had to forecast it all myself, that. I believe that will never change. So the importance of what um, of what Ali's going to talk to you about as well is there are some some wonderful opportunities that we've put together, uh, and RJ will talk about uh, you know the digital piece of it too, and the just electric growth that that's come from digital. Um, but Ali will talk to you a little bit about some multimedia opportunities that that at a very, very efficient uh, rate, things that you could never do yourself, uh, that you can do to try to benefit and advertise and promote your business uh, that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to do. So um, 
if if I had to again stand on my mountain and uh, raise my hands in the air and say this is the this is what you have to do to try to be successful it is to use that multimedia approach or as a guerrilla marketer do as many different things as you can because they all provide the gasoline that starts the engine uh, of marketing so that people will see you they'll hear you they'll learn about your products and build free you will build frequency with them and the most important thing in marketing is being closest to that potential customer at the time they're going to make the purchase so if you're out there consistently um, raising your flag telling people who you are when they're closest to making the decision on what they're going to buy and from whom uh, that is the most important thing that I can tell you in the 10 minutes a lot of day. so I'll, I will I will pass this back to Allie now because I know she's got a lot of inf great information uh, that I've looked at and I wholly endorse uh, that that she'll chat with you about now as well and then uh, we will move along to RJ who just has some of the most wonderful information that you could ever have regarding digital and uh, you know, with the, uh, the the Google information that she's gonna pass along as well. So, Ali, thank you. Thank you, Jeep. Um, and I appreciate that. And, and yes, we have worked with um, Jeep for many, many years on um, some of our media. Um, he's a great resource. Um, and like I said, he has been a great friend to the BBB. Um, he's definitely not a stranger to our office um, as he used to come in quite often. He was um, actually chairman of our BBB board um, and he has been a mentor for numerous staff um, in the office um, and we just can't get rid of him. So um, I appreciate him coming on um, and helping us out here. And he might be jumping in and out um, uh, when I'm talking about specifically our digital billboard campaign and our TV ads that we have lined up for 2022. Um, so he won't be going anywhere. So if you do have any questions um, for Jeep um, specifically, um, don't hesitate to put those in the chat box or the questions. Um, so thank you, Jeep. Um, all right, I'm going to get started on some of the things um, that our accredited businesses can take um, initiative on their own. Um, so our accredited businesses um, are, you know, we stand above and beyond. Um, you you are a different breed. You have, um, you know, you have higher standards than um, than normal than other businesses out there, and you stand behind the values and the trust um, that BBB stands for. Um, some of the things that we offer to you come along just with your accreditation it um, you have access to them as an accredited business um, and that's where we always start with our businesses we want to make sure that you're participating in everything that comes along with your BBB accreditation um, before we would move you into any kind of marketing opportunities that we do have um, through our Central Ohio BBB. Um, so one thing that I want everybody that's on here today that is um, one of our accredited businesses, one thing that I want you to do today, not now, later after we get off of the webinar, um, one thing that I do want you to do is go to bbb.org. This is our international website. It does not matter if you're in Miami, Florida, New York City, LA, or sitting right here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, the website is exactly the same, um, bbb.org, and type in your, go and do a search for your business. If you have never been on your business profile page, um, if you've never seen how we are representing your accredited business, that's the first line that people are going to come to when they're coming and finding you through BBB. We wanna make sure that all of the information is populated correctly. We wanna make sure that we have your logo. Um, we wanna make sure that all your contact information is on there. Um, when consumers are finding you, whether it is through a Google search, if they heard about you from their aunt or uncle or cousin or best friend and they search for your business name on Google, your business profile page is gonna be one of the top rated search results. When they go to your business profile page, we wanna make sure that everything on there is correct and as it should be. So I'm on here and I am just going to do, oh, sorry. I am going to do a search for Rosati Windows because I just feel like it's who we always use when we're on <laughs> when we're on here. So this is um, this is Rosati Windows business profile page. Um, this is what each and every one of our accredited um, businesses has available to them. 
Um, we also have business profile pages for our non-accredited businesses, but it doesn't allow them as many tools as it does for our accredited businesses. So like I said, go to bbb.org, um, type in your business name in the find category. It will populate through the drop dropdown, um, and then you can visit your business profile page. Um, as I said, make sure your logo is on there. Um, all of your contact inf information is correct. Um, if you don't have any customer reviews, we can help you get those. Um, make sure that you have photos and videos. Um, we want to make sure that your branding is going along with BBB and your trusted BBB accreditation. And this is like your, your BBB um, secondary website. If you don't already have a website, you can use this as your actual, um, you know, your website. It has photos on there, all of your contact information. So just want to make sure that you guys do that today at some point. If you see anything on there that you have a question about or needs um, updated, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to um, myself or your BBB rep. Um, and we can help you out with all of that. So just wanted to make sure that you guys um, know to go there. Um, and then also um, some of the things that we have on, um, on these pages that I'm gonna also talk about that do actually go into um, some of our marketing campaigns. Um, and this is just our business profile again. Um, you know, check out your business profile. Um, this is your BBB online presence. So make sure that you are making sure that all of that information is updated. Um, we have, um, so outside of all of the things that you can do within your BBB um, accreditation, um, we also have additional marketing opportunities for our accredited businesses. Um, I'm gonna go down through each of these um, and maybe spend a little bit more time on some than others. Um, but again, all of these are offered exclusively to our accredited businesses. Um, and so if you're going to be marketing your business at any point with us, um, you know, this is where you would find that information. Um, so you have the bbb.org international website. This business portal page that I'm going to be going off of is a great resource for every single one of our accredited businesses. It has information that you can access through your accreditation, um, other resources, um, how-to videos. Our, this webinar will be on here um, once we record it. Um, this, our SparkCast, our business blog, our events, marketing opportunities, anything that you could want or need information on as an accredited business is on this page. Um, so also write this website down. Um, it is bbbbusinessportal.org. Um, again, it's bbbbusinessportal.org. Dot .org has all of the information that you would ever want um, to gain for your accredited business. Um, so I'm going to go down through a few of these. Um, a lot of our businesses that we work with are smaller businesses. Um, the person that's answering the phone and sending out the invoices is actually the person who is doing the work that is up on the roof, that is providing the services, that's talking to the consumers. And a lot of the times, this is really why we do what we do, a lot of the times they don't have the time um, and access to market their business. Um, so one of the biggest things that we have seen in um, the past few years was the need for branding design services. Um, your logo and the voice of your business is very important to consumers. Um, we have an amazing in-house designer, Courtney. Um, if you have worked with anything within our BBB, she has probably had a touch point on it. Um, so if you don't have someone in-house um, that can do logo design or um, design a print um, ad for you or an online ad for you or take professional like pictures for you to put on your website, things like that. Um, we have Courtney in-house um, that can do those things for our accredited businesses. Um, again, just going over some of those um, logo designs, she can start from scratch with you um, through a consultation to see what the voice and what you want your branding to look like. Um, she can um, produce and design online ads. Um, this is one that we did for um, our three-time Torch Award recipient, EE e. Ward, our accredited business, um, that is on our BBB's um, website as an ad. Um, she was able to design those. We do postcards um, that you can send out, um, designing those, um, customer review postcards, um, the two, the business photo album, obviously getting professional, um, a professional photographer out there might not be something that is in your budget, um, but we can definitely help out with that. Um, and then you can use those photos on your website, on any social media. Um, and then also our video creation, um, My BBB Stories, where we actually come out 
um, to your business and um, do B-roll film and interviews with your staff. Um, and so you are able to create um, a video component to go along with your marketing. Um, both of the business photo album and the video, um, my BBB stories have kind of been on hold since COVID. Um, and we are hoping to revamp those in 2022. But if that is something that you are interested in, don't hesitate to reach out um, to Courtney or I, and we can answer any questions that you may have on there. Um, so that is an overview of our branding design services. Um, going back on our marketing page, um, one of the biggest you know, things that I love about BBB is how our accredited businesses stand out. Um, even on our directory pages on BBB.org, our accredited businesses have that BBB accredited business seal. Um, consumers know that that means something. Um, whether you are providing a service or a product, um, that seal still means trust to consumers that are coming and looking on our BBB.org website. Um, the other thing with our website, and I'm gonna click over to there, um, another thing on this website, if I am, when I'm a consumer and I am looking for a, um, you know, a, a roofing contractor, if I can spell today, um, and I'm looking for a roofing contractor, I want to know that that is going to be a trusted business. Um, and so when I, we have a search result on here that um, brings up all of our accredited um, and you can even show accredited and not accredited businesses, um, but it will show all of the businesses that provide that service um, in the location that those consumers are looking for. Um, this is just an organic listing. It goes by closest proximity to the location that the consumer is looking for um, and lists your business name, your rating, um, your top three type of business categories, um, your contact information, your address, um, obviously showcases that you're an accredited business and a consumer can even um, email you directly with our get a quote. Um, this is a wonderful resource um, for consumers to use um, and for accredited businesses to take advantage of. Um, another thing that we are able to do on here for our accredited businesses is place ads. Um, these are if you're a plumber um, and someone's looking for a landscaper, they're not going to find you. Um, these are very targeted ads. Um, you get to select what the type of business categories or services um, that a consumer is searching for. You get to select which ones that your ads would show in um, and the locations. So your Central Ohio BBB services 21 counties in Central Ohio. That's a large footprint. Um, if you are in Southeastern Ohio and you only service Hawking, Athens, and Perry County, we don't want to have your ads populating in Columbus because you're not going to drive that far um, or vice versa. So we also can um, have these ads selected for locations, um, either by city, county, um, and there's no limitation within our, in our 21 county area for those ads to populate. Um, so you can see kind of how these work. They add um, the logo um, to the business's listing. Um, it also gives you preferred placement. Um, these are not long-term. They can be, we, most of our businesses that are up here are up here for an entire you know, years. Um, but you can do these monthly as well um, so that we are here for you when you need us. Um, there are enhanced listing positions, um, and then there's also right rail banner ads on the right hand side, which we actually design in house um, and produce for you. Um, and then all of these are going to end up populating and having consumers go to your business profile page. So if I click on Allied Roofing, I'm going to go to their business profile page where I'm going to be able to find out more information of their business about their business. And from there, Go to their website, I can email them, call them, see their customer reviews, um, how long they've been accredited, all that good stuff that consumers are wanting to know more about your business on. Um, so those are our listings on our directory page. Those are the enhanced listings and the right rail banner ads. Those are available for all of our accredited businesses in any of our categories. Um, and like I said, those are very, very targeted ads that you can participate in. Um, those are some things that we do, that we manage, we get stats, anything that you can click on through the BBB website, we will get a stat on. Um, so then we have actually for 2022, um, we are going to have um, new banner ads that we are promoting um, for our accredited businesses. Um, they just look a little bit different and have a little bit more information on them. Um, so our new right rail banner ads are able to showcase your logo, 
um, a phone number or a website, um, the services that you provide or the products that you provide, um, and then you can either put a, you know, down a tagline um, or your website down at the bottom, and then as always, you're recognized as a BBB accredited business with our BBB accredited business seal. Um, so that's exciting to be able to go on um, for our 2022 planning with our accredited businesses. Um, another asset that we have for our accredited businesses in 2022 um, are our digital billboards. Um, Jeep was talking about these before, how um, using these in tandem with another marketing campaign um, just can boost your visibility even more. So people are seeing you in more places, you have a little bit more handle on um, that targeted audience that you want to be seen by. Um, so a couple of the things on here that we're looking for in 2022, like Jeep was also saying, you know, hiring, finding those um, consumer, finding those um, workers and staff that you want. Um, if you are looking for more employees, we've done billboards for our accredited businesses that they're hiring. Um, if you're celebrating a milestone, like it's our centennial year this year and it's Atlas Butler's centennial year this year, um, you know, celebrating those kind of milestones, we can do those through our digital billboards as well for you. Coming up on the holidays, there's a lot of our accredited businesses that produce specific products or seasonal services. Um, we help you design those billboards for that as well. We do all of the buying. We have the locations already set for 2022. Um, we will be starting those in uh, late February, February 22nd of next year. And those, those will run all the way through November 28th. Um, and so we have the design, we have the capability with Courtney, our in-house designer, to assist our accredited businesses in the design of these and the voice that you want to get out. Um, but we also allow our accredited businesses to, if they have somebody in-house that they can produce that design, you are more than welcome to be able to utilize your own personal staff for those as well. Um, and then obviously we'll, just, we'll approve those. Um, and I'll be Ali, those are in very high traffic areas as well. So yes. that's, import, that's important to note because of the location of those uh, billboards that certainly enhances the message because of the high traffic counts in all the places that you have those. And one of the beauties of billboards as we were talking about the multimedia approach, one of the beauty, beauties of uh, billboard advertising is a lot of people travel the same paths on a daily basis, so they will see the boards uh, multiple times, creating that frequency, which delivers customers. So uh, just just something else important to keep in mind when we're talking about uh, outdoor advertising. Yes, thank you. And if anybody has um, gone to the Starbucks um, down by our BBB office um, on the corner right there, that's always packed. Um, one of our locations is right above the Starbucks. So everybody sees it as they're waiting in line for their very expensive yet good coffee. Um, so we are signing people up already for 2022 on that. We have our schedule. So, um, and we actually have billboards um, even active now um, through um, the week of Thanksgiving. So you can even jump on there um, this year if you wanna get something in um, before winter really strikes. Um, we have those active up currently that you can take advantage of, but thank you. Um, another program that we are super excited about, and you guys get kind of the first look on this, um, is our 2022 TV ads. Um, we actually, we have those running right now um, on both WBNS 10 TV and NBC4. Um, and they're 30 second commercials, which we produce in house. Um, you can select to have a single ad where you're the only business um, that is showcased, um, or you can share the spot with another um, non competitive, non competing accredited business. Um, and we have those running currently, but we actually have new ones um, for 2022 that we will be starting in February of next year. And we actually, this you guys will be the first ones to be able to see um, our new ads on here. And so I'm super excited to show them to you. I got to get over to it though, one second. So we have... So I'm gonna show this really quick. It's only 30 seconds, so it's not gonna take that long, but I wanna be able to showcase these new ads.
All right, let's see. BBB believes in the power of trust to grow people, businesses, and communities. Start your consumer journey with trust by visiting BBB.org, where you will have access to the profiles of reliable BBB accredited businesses and charities like Atlas Butler Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, celebrating their commitment to BBB standards of trust since 1941. You can find more local trustworthy organizations at BBB.org. BBB, start with trust. All right, so that was our new video on there, and we're super pumped to be able to offer that to our accredited businesses um, starting February of 2022. Um, the wonderful thing about these, obviously everybody in the central Ohio area knows um, both 10TV and Channel 4. Um, these aren't spots that are gonna run at two o'clock in the morning um, for you insomniacs that might be watching those anyways. Um, these are um, daytime segments. Um, large majority of those um, appear during the morning news, um, news segments, um, and they just get you a ton of credibility. And these are things like Jeep was saying earlier, because we produce these and we buy, um, you know, February through November, we're able to offer these to our accredited businesses at an affordable price. Um, if you were to go into one of the stations and just want a 30 second commercial, um, it might not be affordable to you, but we are um, here because we want you to be able, our accredited businesses to um, use services that maybe wouldn't be available to them um, outside of their BBB accreditation. So because um, we do the production and we get you know, all of the weeks already lined up for you. It's simply a, hey, I want to do the TV ad. Here's the week that I want to be on. I want to be on NBC4. We get your information and it's and it's done for you. It's it's takes the stress away from you planning it. Um, you know, there it's a great um, product um, that we offer and we're super excited to start those um, in February of next year. However, we do have ones currently up and running for our centennial celebration that our accredited businesses can still purchase um, two weeks left in November. So if you do wanna get something in before the end of the year, we do have some spots still on there. Um, Jeep, did you have anything on the TV segments that you wanted to talk about? Yes, absolutely. Um, with regard to, uh, to TV advertising as a whole, and we're not talking about cable, um, but uh, network TV, which is uh, one of the beauties of this, um, these stations that that are currently a part of this are uh, Metro Reach, so um, they reach well into the seven to twelve county area with full coverage uh, of their signal. So the audience is very, very large. Uh, that, that you reach by virtue of these uh, commercials. And Ali mentioned the production, that they would take care of the production. Uh, production costs, if any of you are familiar with those for TV to do a quality commercial is, will far exceed what you pay for the spots themselves um, with the program that Ali's offering. So um, many, many advantages there. Uh, to being attached to this. And uh, TV is uh, uh, just a wonderful medium, especially when you look at it uh, on a network basis, like these commercials are positioned. So uh, very good opportunity here, for sure. Awesome, thank you so much. Yes, and we're excited to get those up and rolling for our accredited businesses um, with that new um, feature for next year. Um, hopping back on our um, marketing opportunities page, um, as you can see, we're making our way down here. Um, we also have, um, we are back on our, when we were on our, that bbb.org, um, our international website, when we were looking up specific business categories, like we looked up roofing contractors. We do have ad placements on there, um, but we also want you to be able to showcase your logo where you're organically found on that listing. Um, building branding with your BBB trusted accreditation is huge and we want to give you every opportunity to be able to do that. Um, we have a new package that we just put together this year, um, which is a logo listing and video package um, for 
lack of a better term, it's a do it and forget it for the life of your accreditation. Um, it is a one-time um, buy-in for this. And we would have your logo, <clears throat> excuse me, placed with your directory page listing <clears throat> for the life of your accreditation. And we would also produce a video um, for your accredited business um, that you can utilize on your, <clears throat> we'd put it on your business profile page. You can do it on your, put it on your social media and your website, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, video is huge right now. Um, and like I said, a lot of those video, the production, just like um, Jeep was talking about, those are expensive normally to do unless you're super handy with your iPhone um, and can do one on your own. Um, so we have created a accredited business um, video um, and that is paired with the logo only um, listing, which would add your logo to your placement on our directory pages. Um, we do have, it's a short, again, 30 second video um, that we would produce specifically for your business. Um, and then we would, it's by name recognition on here, we will put that on your business profile page and give you um, the availability to use that throughout the life of your accreditation. Um, so I'm gonna show this video really quick as well. Um, this is actually for six floors down, um, a accredited business of ours, and we just produced this, I think last week. So um, in, just take a look at this one and we'll be right back. All right, so that was, again, our logo only um, listing in our video, um, accredited business video that we create in-house um, specifically for your business. Um, that's a package deal, it's $200, life of your accreditation. Um, it's a very quick way to get video um, content on your website and on your business profile page and add that logo recognition on our directory pages. Um, I wanna give um, RJ as much time as possible, so um, I do only have one more thing to go through before I turn the reins over to RJ on here. Um, and it's a great segue to go into. Um, so we, a small portion of our accredited businesses um, within Central Ohio um, are produce um, or um, offer national services or national products. Um, a new campaign that we have started with the um, IABBB, the International Association of Better Business Bureaus, um, is our National Advantage campaign. Um, so what this is, and I'm, I, it's so new, I didn't even put it on anything on here, um, but um, what it is, is if you produce or if you offer services nationwide or you have a product that is sold nationwide and you're an accredited business with us, you can do ads on that BBB directory page um, to either targeted or non-targeted um, audiences. So if I am um, like, you know, RJ with Rev Local, for example, they service clients way outside of Ohio um, and, because of the services that they provide, they can do that. So if they, they're they accredited with us, um, I'm not setting you up for anything, RJ. Um, so they would be able to place ads on our bbb.org website um, that would show nationally, um, coast to coast. Um, we can even show them in Canada. Um, so that is something new for any of our accredited businesses that um, offer national services. Um, that is something new that I can definitely speak with you if you have questions about that. Um, but my segue into handing the reins over to um, over to RJ on here, um, we our sponsorships, um, we are a little different um, than um, if you think of us as a review source or a complaint source. We are not just that. Um, yes, we provide those services, but we're a resource and a partner for businesses. We're also a partner for the community. Um, we have a, we have wonderful, um, it's Center for Character Ethics, and we actually have events throughout the year um, that showcase and honor and celebrate businesses and community members and through the current and future workforce um, through three, three different programs, four actually. 
Um, so one of those is um, our Torch Awards celebration. Um, that is the um, kind of the highlight of our year. We showcase um, accredited, biz or accredited and non-accredited businesses and charities in the Central Ohio area um, that have been chosen for our Torch Awards. Um, it's an outstanding trust, um, you know, celebration for um, those businesses that have been up and operational and, and are doing things right and have been doing things right and are and we're awarding them um, and celebrating those for that. Um, that is actually um, in November on, it's a November 17th, and Jess is gonna pop in if I say this wrong. It's November 17th at um, 1230 on channel four. It's a televised event this year. Um, and because of COVID um, is why we kind of did the televised version we are also going to be um celebrating our spark award recipients our spark award is more of a um award for entrepreneurial businesses um ages 30 if the owner is 35 or younger and or up and operational for less than three years um, and Rev Local is actually um, one of our Spark Award sponsors this year, and we want to thank Rev Local for stepping up. Um, we all want to, um, you know, support small businesses, specifically in this time of year and with COVID. Um, and um, Rev Local has definitely stepped up within that realm and is a sponsor for our Spark Awards this year. So um, thank you, Rev Local. And I'm going to turn things over to RJ um, so that he has enough time to be able to talk about um, the. Google My Business and um, able to answer any questions that we have on there if I can figure out how to switch things over to him. Um, there we go. I have given him um, the reins and I'm going to let RJ take it away. Okay. Tell me if you guys can see my page. Can. Great job. Look at that. You did so good. <laughs> I was, it was all you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, hey, it's really great to be able to uh, to catch up. And thanks so much, Jim, for uh, the awesome content. And I completely agree with what Jim and Allie have been sharing is that um, the the multimedia approach being found, you know, I like to use the term ubiquitous, you know, being found everywhere and people seeing you everywhere is so important. So um, just real quickly, again, RJ, I'm actually a born and raised Columbus guy. I've been involved with, known, and worked with the BBB uh, all the way back to the early 90s when I first got into business. So this is uh, this is great. Um, actually spent some time directly at the office after I retired out of corporate America. Um, but my story, just to kind of give you guys a quick thing, is I um, after I retired out of, out of corporate America, I went into business coaching and consulting, and some good friends reached out to me and said, hey, we're starting this little startup. We've been in the dial-up space for years and we're helping businesses get found online. And so my brain immediately went to websites and traditional SEO, and they actually said, no, that's actually not our strength and forte. The algorithms have changed, and it is about being found in this new maps section. And then the, um, there's been a lot of different terms, but the Google local, um, there was even Google plus there for a while when Google was trying to take on Facebook, it was actually a social platform. But after time, those all you know, Google continues to iterate, but they landed on this Google My Business. So you'll hear people refer to GMB or Google My Business. And so I want to open this up just by saying, um, does your online presence represent your offline reputation? So think about that for a second. Does your so Ali said it? Google yourself, search yourself. By the way, Google now has um, ninety three percent of uh, all mobile search traffic and 85% of all desktop search traffic. So when you Google yourself, does your online presence reflect your offline reputation? And I think some of the things that Ali was saying that you can do with your with your BBB listing and so forth is super important. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the listing that Google has actually created for you and that Google has told us more people see this than your website. So how insane is that? So let's let's go ahead and jump right into it. So talking about the Google My Business listing, uh, by the way, if you wanna connect with me, I'm on LinkedIn, on Facebook, uh, there's my email and my phone number, but let's go ahead and jump right in. So GMB or Google My Business listings. So we just picked a couple random ones here. Um, first of all, if you look over to the left, you'll notice this 
Google my business listing. And by the way, if you want to get into the bare bones here, if you Google yourself and you do it on a phone, it should be that blue rectangle that shows up. If you do it on desktop, you usually have the organic searches on the left. And then on the right, you'll have this rectangle. That is the GMB. And so I'll just refer to it as the GMB to make it simple for us moving on. Um, but a couple of random ones we picked here. So first of all, you want to make sure that you are verified and you do own, you've claimed your own Google listing. I hope most folks have done that. If you aren't sure, Google yourself, go to that GMB and actually look and see, do you own this business and make sure that your business does. But look at the difference between the two. So if we're relating it back to websites, you know, a website that's got more visuals, more graphics and more information, um, as opposed to the one on the right. And again, if anybody from these businesses is on, please, no offense, Mint, um, but Bell's Bread, Japanese Bakery and Cafe, look at some things that you notice differently between that one and the Ladybug Cafe over on the right. So a couple things that I notice over on the left, I mean, the first thing that jumps out, and we're gonna spend some time on this, is look at those reviews, 805 Google reviews. So keep in mind, everybody, that that word of mouth and, um, you know, that that word of mouth has moved online. I, I'm 56 now. I remember the days when it was just, hey, go see old man so-and-so's boy. He'll take care of you. Back when I lived in Pickerington, Picktown, Ohio, when it was so tiny. And that's what we did. We just got a referral. Well, now people, word of mouth and referrals is online. Look at those reviews, 805 reviews. And then you can also see the different things that they do underneath it, pastries, custom cakes, desserts. You know, you've got service options. You've, you've got the location, not only an address, but the exact location. You've got hours of operation. You've got some health and safety stuff. You've got social profiles. You've got pictures. That is a, Google tells us that a bit, that business, um, if you're B2B, businesses that are picking you, or if you're B2C, consumers that are picking you are going to choose the one on the left as opposed to the one on the right. Because the one on the right, we're wondering if they're still even in business anymore. There's no phone number, there's no hours of operation, there's no pictures, it's unverified and there's missing information. So let's, let's keep rolling through there. So what are some of the things that you can feature? So first of all, and Allie, this does sound like the BBB listing, doesn't it? <laughs> we, want you to, we want you to do this with both, right? Um, there's actually a ton of directories and databases and platforms out there where you can get credits and points with Google's local search algorithm which is totally different than the past algorithm, which is I wanna rank my website to the top of the, of, the, of the first page of Google. We all remember before Maps that um, you know, everybody wanted to be on the first page of Google. And Google tells us now that when you do a search for a product or a service, um, it's gonna produce some ads, it's gonna produce a map and usually three options that are those GMVs or those Google My Business listings. And then everything underneath that is the websites. That's traditional SEO, that's organic SEO. And Google says that most people take action in the maps and the ads, and that's 85% of the clicks now. So what are those things that can be featured on your GMV? So as we mentioned here, your products, your services, if you're a restaurant, it's your menu. There's a number of other things that we can get into but a couple of the things that I want to highlight, and then we can take some questions um, if that chat feature is available. And maybe somebody can test that to let us know that it is available if you've got a question. So I want to highlight two things. The first one is what's called your Google Post or Google Q&A. So first of all, Google Post, there, those are a, it's, remember that in the early iteration, Google Plus was that social platform that Google was trying to take on Facebook. It didn't make it, but Google continued to iterate and they they took the features from Google Plus and, and basically um, merged that into what became your GMB. So you can actually do a social media post on that Google My Business listing. And you can see on the right what it looks like. And if you Google some businesses, you'll see times underneath the information it'll say information or updates from this business. And so on the right would be an example. It looks like kind of an Instagram post or a Facebook post. Those posts are live for seven days. So we would recommend if you could do one a week, if you're already posting on Facebook, you've created the content or Instagram, take that same information and put it over on Google. You can also do events. So if an event is coming up in a month and a half from now, you can actually highlight that event 
And that will show underneath your Google My Business page all the way until that event. So if you want something to last longer than seven days because it's an event, you can do that through creating an event. So Google Post. Um, and then I wanna hit the Google Q&A real quick and then I'll pause if either Allie or Jim or if there were to be any chats that come, um, that come through. Um, is the Google Q&A. We are in a world now where, Google, where consumers, your potential customers, can ask you questions just like on a Facebook chat. And they can ask that on Google. And the thing about it is anybody is allowed to answer that question. So think about that for just a second. <laughs> How do you feel that anybody can answer that? So we, you definitely wanna be tied into, your, you can actually download the app and get Google My Business. And you wanna be alerted when somebody asks a question because if you don't answer it, somebody else might. So you wanna make sure the proper information is being published out about your information. So I'll pause there, Jim or Ali, any, any questions or do we see anything in the chat? I wanna make sure that that's still available. Um, so um, I was just informed that the chat box is not working. <laughs> okay. So we're not gonna have any questions from the, from the okay. audience. Um, however, um, I have some questions. <laughs> Okay. If you don't mind. Um, so I know that we. Hey, Allie. I'm sorry. They yeah, go for it. Sorry, Allie. The the audience can still ask questions through the question box. Um, I'm not sure why the chat box is not working, but they can still put any questions they might have into the question box, and I'd be happy to facilitate those. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So everybody heard that you can go ahead and put some questions into the question box, and we can see those. We just can't see the chat box. Um, I even just tried to test it while RJ was talking. Um, so just looking at the power of all of the things that the that you know our our businesses um, have heard today. So I mean, Google is taking over the world. We all know that. Um, I commend you for knowing what's going on with Google on a daily basis because I don't yeah. know. You know, it things change so rapidly <clears throat> that you know you don't know what end is what side is up. Um, so for, you know, for both Jeep, RJ and myself, like working with our businesses to make your lives easier. So you guys don't have to, you know, making, making tools, short, maybe even like a shortcut, being able to facilitate um, all of these different review sites and how people can find you and where they're finding you and making sure that things that are on the website, like RJ was saying, are relative and are a good representation of what your business yeah. is. Um, so, you know, take advantage of anything that is that is yeah. um, offered to you as a business to make sure, because I have definitely seen working with our accredited businesses for 11 years, I have definitely seen things online that I'm like, whoa, did you know this yeah. was out there? And they're like, no. <laughs> um, Allie, I was just going to say, I was going to say that actually is a tremendous segue into um, I was going to tell a story. I actually, there's a business and they are accredited business. I won't even mention who they are, but they've been around over a hundred years. And the picture that was associated with their Google My Business listing, because the bots and spiders, and I don't want to get into the weeds, but they had aggregated this content. It was two motorcycles and a pickup truck that was lifted. And that was attached to a very high-end businesses, Google My Business listing. And if you look at the arrow right here as an example, now this is Macomb Body Shop, but this other company was a very large plumbing company. I'll just say that, a very large plumbing company. It was not their truck. It was two kind of crotch rocket motorcycles and a pickup truck, and it did not represent their brand whatsoever. So make sure that you guys are reviewing this and you're looking, should be your storefront, should be products and services, culture, employee, pictures, videos, and not as Ali said, not you, you want to do it on the on your Google My Business. You want to do it on your BBB listing as well. And I want to I want to close out this last little thing. So if you were at, if you um, did want to ask a question, um, one of the biggest things that I'll close with is people say, RJ, what's the most tangible thing I can do right now? And I will tell you one of the things that's helped Rev Local grow. And as I mentioned, when I started with Rev Local in a consulting relationship, we had 10 employees. And we had about 100 clients spending $99 a month for local SEO services, maybe 150 clients. And, and um, it, if for anybody that doesn't know, RevLocal has now grown to over 400 employees. Um, we moved from Knox County down to Licking County, and we've grown to over 7,000 active customers paying us on a monthly basis. And only 7 or 8%, and I see Jim smiling, because Jim, I talked to you saying, 
hey, should I go with these guys? What do you think, man? I want to stay in the consulting world. And I remember us talking about it. And, and it's been an absolute blessing and an honor. But one of the things that's really helped us grow to um, about over 90% of our clients, not on any kind of contracts at all, is our, our strength with not only the local SEO piece and the education that we give people there, but it's the importance of review. So I'm going to close in the last two minutes with this is what I believe is the single greatest thing that you can do. Matter of fact, if you want to watch a webinar that I did for a, uh, an organization called Roofing Contractor Magazine, it's on my LinkedIn page and you can go to RJ Lowry and look for me there. And I did about a 25 minute and it was all on reviews. But guys, reviews, when we go there, word of mouth and referrals has moved online. You, so audit your review count. Does your the amount of reviews that you have reflect how many years you've been in business? I've seen businesses 40, 50, 60 years in business with seven Google reviews. And if you're trying to capture the next generation, a, 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 a millennial or a Z-lineal sees you know, single digit reviews, 20 reviews, something like that. You've been around 60 years. They're moving on to the next option. So I'm going to really encourage you to audit that review count and that rate rating compared to your competitors. And secondly, is, is Google highlighting you know, the relevant search terms in your review text? Are you, are you making sure people are putting good quality things in there? So, and are you responding? That's, I'm going to hit the number five real quick. Are you responding to those reviews? That's part of Google's algorithm as well as when Google is indexing, it's looking for you to respond. Now I have a lot of people say, oh, I don't respond to any reviews. Do you know what the example of that is, Ali? That would be like us being at a party and the three of us are standing together and somebody comes up and goes, oh, the BBB, I love you guys, all of you that are associated with the BBB. And we just look at them and go like this. And then somebody else walks up and goes, oh, yeah, Jim, Ali, yeah, RJ, the BBB is fantastic. And we look at them and we go like this. Right? Or they go, oh, I hate the BBB, blah, 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 blah. And we look at them and we go like this. So guess what? You want to respond to both positive reviews and you want to respond to the negative reviews. And if they're negative, be professional, be classy, have somebody sleep on it before you review. Don't be that guy. Don't send that first email. Don't send the first <laughs> email. We've all heard it. Yeah, that's exactly right. So make sure that you are doing that. And my last little thing that I'll give you at 1059 is, is send that link. Go to your Google My Business listing, click on reviews, and then up at the top, I'm giving you a hack here, guys. I'm giving you a hack. Go to the top and grab that URL. If you're really techie, you can go to Bitly and you can shorten the link. But for those that don't want to, at least grab that URL and you can text that to people. And you can get friends of the program, happy clients and customers. So that number three there was start checking in your customers, like get them, ask people to write you reviews. And some people are like, oh, I never want to ask for that. Great. Well, then stay at seven or 13 reviews and under a four star and let it not only impact you by the con conversion rates of consumers who are not choosing you, they're choosing your competitors and in many cases, not accredited businesses. Um, and you're also not pleasing Google's algorithm because the more reviews with the higher star rating helps Google show you to more people. So I will close with that same question. Does your online presence reflect that amazing offline reputation that you have? And that's where I'll end. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. There's my information. I would love to connect with you personally. Thanks so much, guys. Wonderful. Thank you, RJ. And um just for everyone's knowledge on here, we actually, um, this has been recorded. Wah, wah. So um, if you want to go back and listen to RJ's information, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do those things, um, this will be recorded and it'll be on our BBB business portal um, page that we were on earlier um, so that you guys can go over um, all of those instructions again, because I know I'm going to be listening to that again, because I want to also help our accredited businesses be able to do that. Um, and that was something new new for me as well. So I appreciate that. Um, I don't know, just, I don't think we have any questions in there yet, um, but we'll we'll open it up to, um, to any questions here um, if we have any that are on there. And I'm gonna go. Ali, one question is where can um, the attendees find the, the videos that you showed earlier? 
So we have, so the 2022 um, TV ad campaign video um, is not completely finalized yet, so it will not be available until 2022 <laughs> um, or, or maybe a little bit before 2022. Um, but the video, the BBB accreditation video um, can be seen on our BBB business portal um, page. And I will take you over there again and kind of show you where those things are. One second. All right, so again, anything that's on here and the recording um, for you guys to be able to go back and kind of listen to some things or skip around um, um, is it's bbbbusinessportal.org. Um, and then our marketing opportunities page is on there. And then the logo listing and video package, you can play the video directly from there. And that is that 30 second um, that video that we can create specifically for your business to put on um, your business profile page, your website, your social media, all of that good stuff. Um, and then we also have, um, you can click on the TV advertising campaign and see our current 30 second TV ads that are airing on NBC4 and um, Channel 10. Um, if you're interested in participating in those before the end of the year. Um, but this webinar will be on that business portal page um, under webinars. Um, it is recorded and you can go back through and listen to um, some of the topics that um, Jeep discussed about how to build up your marketing in 2022 and what that landscape looks like. Um, you can go over any of the information that I went through and you can go through step by step with RJ's um, great tips on um, the Google My Business. Um, so that's where all of that information can be found. Jess, any other questions on there? Um, we did get one question. Um, it was actually a little bit more specific about um, when when a rule might change um, regarding uh, BBB business review or reviews, customer reviews, and those falling off after a certain amount of time. Um, so I would just uh, maybe encourage um, anybody who has that question and would like to get some more clarification about that um, to reach out to either Ali or um, our office directly. Um, we'd be happy to talk that through with you, and we can also provide um, some really great tools to get um, some additional customer reviews, not just on BBB.org, but on a couple of different platforms through our um, Review Solutions app. Um, so if you need to reach out to Allie, there's her contact information. You can also contact um, our office directly at 614-486-6336. Um, and any of our staff would be happy to help you get to the correct person to answer those questions. Not Congratulations to, um, for remembering that phone number because I only know my own direct line phone number at the office. Um, that was highly impressive. Um, oh, thank you. So if didn't have any other questions, um, Jeep or RJ, um, thank you so much for being on here with us. Um, I greatly appreciate your time and your friendship um, and working with BBB all of these years. Um, I think um, both Jeep and RJ were with BBB before I was, before I was even with BBB. So um, we definitely appreciate you guys sticking with us. Um, thank you to all of our attendees. Um, don't forget to go online and you can watch the recording. You can go on our business portal page um, and see the webinar recorded. Um, and then here is contact information um, for all three of us if you want to get a hold of us or if you have any questions directly for any of us. But um, I hope that everyone enjoys the rest of their Thursday. If you have small children knocking on your door um, tonight, good luck to you. Um, if you're getting kids dressed to go out um, or if you're going out trick-or-treating tonight, Good luck to you as well. Um, but thank you guys all so much for being a part of this. Um, Jeep or RJ, any last thoughts on here? No, just thanks for having us. We really appreciate it, most definitely. Questions yeah, and I was just gonna, yeah, I was just going to say happy fall, everybody. Uh, I, I'm looking out at the leaves changing as, as we do this event. And uh, stay safe out there uh, with your kiddos. And, um, and then lastly, uh, go Bucks. Big weekend, right? <laughs> Very big weekend. There we go. There we go. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. It was an honor. Yes, thank you, everyone.